everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in the part 1 of this series, I will give you a complete guide of Ooty. Before the video starts, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also check my description box for my other travel videos. Now without any further delay, let's start with the vlog plus complete tour guide of Ooty. We started our journey from Delhi at 2.30 am as we had to catch a 6.30 am flight to Bangalore. I always love early morning flights. From the flight, I had this magical experience of seeing a sunrise. Yes, that's a sunrise and it was so magical that I can't even describe. At the Bangalore airport, we got our pre-booked Innova car and it took us almost 8 hours to reach Uti by road. We just took a half an hour halt in between, otherwise our almost 280km journey was non-stop. Still this journey was highly pleasing and full of scenic beauty. If you want to save some time then you can land at Coimbatore airport and then can go to Uti by road which is almost a 3 hour journey. Or you can land at Bangalore airport only but can have a one night stay at Mysore before going to Uti. Uti, also known as Udakamandlam, is a hill station in Tamil Nadu which serves as a very popular tourist destination for anyone for a picturistic place to relax and unwind. After almost a 8 hour road journey, we finally reached our hotel Vinayaga Inn in Uti. If you are interested then I will give you their details in the description box. Uti is also known as Queen of Hills and is at an altitude of 2240 meters above sea level and enjoys a favorable climate year around. For anyone looking for a respite from mind boggling humidity and the scorching Indian sun, Uti is the place to be. We had a two night stay at Uti, but I would recommend you at least three nights stay. After reaching Uti, we did nothing, we just had our dinner and slept because we were really tired. So, directly moving into day one. Let me now quickly give you my room tour. So this is how the room looks like when you enter in it. We have our very comfortable bed, a bedside stool, some wall decor going on, a hanger to hang your clothes, a table to put your luggage, two chairs, a snacks table with an electric kettle, that's me. Then there's this cupboard with a blanket, a TV and then we have the washroom, a very basic washroom with an attached bathing area. Hi guys, so it's day one and we are in Udi. So we first reached Bangalore and uh, it took us around seven hours to reach Udi. And then we were so tired that we just slept after eating dinner. And now it's uh, finally day one and we will be going to at least, I think, 10 places. I think five to six places at least. And yeah, I think uh, this day will be a lot of fun. I will show you my outfit in a while. And uh, yeah, let's go and have fun in today's day. Our first day started with a visit to Doda Beta Peak. After parking your vehicle, you will have to trek for about 10 minutes to reach this very popular tourist destination. On your way, you will find a lot of shops selling woolen stuff, some cute stationery and a lot of snacks. I absolutely love this grey cap which was for 250 rupees. I was saying 200 but she didn't agree. There's absolutely no bargaining here. How cute are these animal caps now? They were priced at rupees 150. So 
Standing tall at 8,606 feet as the highest point of South India, the Dodabeta Peak Trail is flanked by towering eucalyptus trees, offering you uninterrupted view of this valley. The view from Dodabeta Peak is spectacular. Make sure you climb a few stairs to the octagonal shaped telescopic tower that rises out of the middle of the peak. This indoor platform is said to have telescopes so that you can enjoy the view better, but they were missing from the place. But from the naked eyes too, you can enjoy the breathtaking panoramic view. Inside this octagonal platform, you have the Kunur city viewpoint. as well as Uti city viewpoint. You can spend about 1-2 to two hours at this peak, enjoying the view and clicking some amazing photographs. Next, we visited a very popular benchmark tea factory, which is one of the high productive tea factories, which not only produces tea, but also chocolates, oils and spices. Let's go inside. Entry at this factory is free. At the entrance, they will give you this band with a barcode which they will scan if you purchase anything from them. At this factory, you can see the whole process of how tea is processed. There is no guide to take you around this place but if you will ask the workers working there, they will explain you this whole process. At this factory, they will also make you taste tea for free. They have a whole menu from which you can choose which tea you want to taste. I chose masala tea which I absolutely loved that we even purchased it. Next was the turn of chocolates. So in this factory, you can see how everyone's favorite chocolates are manufactured. And just like tea, they will also make you taste chocolates for free. You can even purchase tea and chocolates from this factory. They have a whole variety of tea like cardamom tea, masala tea, ginger tea and even chocolate tea. In chocolates, they had almost 50 variety of chocolates. If you are in Uti, then you will find all random shops selling chocolates. But benchmark chocolates are more pure and more hygienic and of course better in quality. Not just chocolates, you will also find some oils to cure you from cough and cold, headache and for body massage too. They also had these roll-on perfumes which were really good. They also have spices and coffee but I will recommend you to purchase it from Kurg because that is what it is famous for. I will show you everything that I purchased from this trip in my shopping haul which will come up really soon so don't miss that out. Our next destination was Uti Lake. Lakes are always the same with same green view, boating and all. But this was special as it had a beautiful view. There are different types of boating that you can enjoy here. We enjoyed the paddle boat which was a very nice and calm experience. We had a delicious lunch from the food court at the Uti Lake. If you are at Uti Lake, then don't miss the food from this food court. Next, we enjoyed a small toy train ride at Uti Lake, which we initially thought was for kids. But then we realized that the ticket price for adults was also mentioned, so we quickly got the tickets and jumped into this toy train. This small toy train ride will show the whole view of Oti Lake and it goes through trees on both sides. Kids will definitely enjoy this ride.
from a mini train station to a proper railway station udaka mandalam railway station was our next stop the terminus of udaka mandalam railway station is a part of nilgiri mountain railway a world heritage site the train runs a to and fro journey every day and the frequency increases during peak summer to accommodate the heavy inflow of tourists the train runs from metupalayam to uti via kunur so if you are planning to visit kunur then book your tickets in advance and travel from this very famous uti train Our next stop was Government Rose Garden which is a huge garden set on the hillside. This place has a vast variety of different types of roses and you will find them in huge numbers especially when it's the season. Our next and final destination for Uti was Government Botanical Garden. You can visit this place if you are a nature lover. The garden is well maintained and has a variety of flowers and trees. You can just sit here and relax. The timings of botanical garden is from 7 a.m. to 6:30 p.m. This place has an amazing view and will give you some great photo opportunities. So don't miss this place if you are ever coming to Uti. In the evening we just roamed around in the local market of Uti. There is a Tibet market where you can shop. At Uti market you will find chocolates being sold everywhere. We also got into this random cafe which had snacks at a really cheap price, at least cheap in comparison to the Delhi prices. So we enjoyed a chocolate donut and a chocolate ball just for 40 rupees. Next we got into this very famous cafe called Sidewalk Cafe. This place had a great ambience. This place also had a clay tandoor so if you want to taste the authentic pizza then this is the place to be. This was little expensive but definitely a must try. We ordered cappuccino coffee along with margarita pizza. This place definitely gets a big thumbs up from me. Apart from chocolates and cafes, nothing at Uti Market attracted me. If you're thinking that it will be like the Mall Road of Shimla or Manali, then you will be disappointed. But in general, it was really nice to just roam around in this market and to have some delicious food in these cafes. That's it for part one of this video. In part two, I will take you to a tiger reserve with more than six hundred tigers and Mysore city. That video will be uploaded on Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, then please subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Till then, bye bye. Take care.